hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial in the previous video we created the windows service and we saw how to deploy and undeploy it we already have the skeleton code now we will link our uh, timer class library project with this windows service so that it will make entry into the windows e1 logger periodically first we learned about the windows service then we talked about the example then we reviewed timer and event logger components after this we created the timer class library project then we saw how to deploy the windows service so in the command line argument we faced the issue when we use the project directory and dollar target name so it gave uh, wrong path and that way it caused some trouble to us then we changed the uh, argument to use a different macro now we will include the timer component so that our windows service can periodically push some event to the windows service so this will be useful when you are monitoring something and pushing it to the windows event logger or a flat log file so here we are including the using directory so we will change this using directive as we changed the project name if you see timer count and we are creating the instance of our class timer count we changed this component name also in the demo next if you see we already have on start right we are already making this event logger entry here if you see we are simply calling the method start counter from our timer component because it's available through the class library and if you see this is the start counter and this is the stop counter we use the change method right on both here in the on stop handler this is the piece of code we will add so first we will include the class library then we will instantiate our uh, timer component or the class which is exposing the timer component then we will make a call to start and a stop counter so let's proceed with the demo we will clear this here is our solution explorer right now we will add one more project to our solution explorer add existing project so under the temp directory we have service timer right double click and open the c sharp project and add it to our existing solution so the solution name is tick counter it makes use of service timer here under the reference right click choose add reference here if you see there are many ways to add a reference if you want to add assembly you can browse through the dll and you can refer the dll entry since we added the project here i'm placing a tick mark and clicking ok that means here if you see service timer entry is added now we will go to our the counter project
edit code or view code here we will make an entry sample 09 using service timer so we are using the service timer namespace so this is the constructor right let it initialize the component after that sample 10 so SRV timer is the constructor doesn't take any parameter we can directly initialize it new SRV timer and we need this as a member so we will copy this so the timer is initialized here then we have start method right here in the start method so this is why i hate typing the code now it's wasting your time here timer ev dot start counter these are all public methods right and here we will use timer ev dot stop counter so if you see here first we added the namespace then we declared a private member after that we initialized it inside our service constructor then we are starting the counter in the on start and stopping the counter in the on stop we will rebuild this uh, solution now we will click on service install So install is completed the five the counter automatic now so it's you may wonder why it is not started automatic means during the windows startup the service will start so that's why we call it as automatic let's start the service this may be because we have DLL in the wrong location that means we need to deploy both the exe and DLL in the same location let's copy this path we can either do that by changing the project property you can have a common location to avoid the length of this video i'm just copying this uh, location here is the exe right service timer So in this same location we will copy this DLL
now we will try starting this uh, service if you see service is started so what you have to do in this case if you go to project property build there will be output path somewhere here if you see you can choose browse and have a common location for both uh, dll as well as exe so that when you are building the project they will get deployed to the same location then you have to change the external tools as well all right now service is started right and if i go to event viewer by this time it may add a multiple entry why because every five second entry will get added right right click refresh and if you see there are multiple entries counter val 6 counter val 10 so it's keep on increasing refresh the latest value is 15 now we will stop the service it may take some time but uh, you won't see the entry get generated since it took some time to stop the service you may see 16 or 17 after that you won't see any entry we'll go for a refresh here 16 you are seeing that's all the tick counter is stopped and you won't see any event logger entry right now we will close this all right we stopped it and don't forget to uninstall this service after you experiment how it is working uninstall has completed we will do the refresh So it states an install is completed, but uh, reload. External tools slash u. I think that's wrong. So it states and install completed that uh, it doesn't happen so let's change the command or you can even use external tool service and install this time directly giving the exe So that's the location in which it got installed. Slash you apply 
Okay, tools, service uninstall. So, so it's a path issue. Now, if I refresh, so it is disabled, right? Properties. All right, at least it got disabled. So if it is not uninstalling, at least uh, disable it and stop the service. Otherwise, it will keep on pushing entry into the Windows event logger. Once you restart the system, maybe it will get deleted. Just now you saw the demo. Thank you for watching. Bye.